Welcome to the Idaho Business Podcast, the only Idaho podcast focused on providing profits for Idaho people. If you love our state and love small business, you are in the right place. We interview local legends, learn business, and have way too much fun doing it. You're listening to the Idaho Business Podcast with your friend, host, and all-around great guy and owner of New Clean Commercial Cleaning, Spencer Ward. All right, guys, everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Idaho Business Podcast. We're excited to be with you today. Um, here soon, I'm going to have a different setup for the podcast. Uh, so those who view this podcast and me and all my glory on video, will see some different things, some different backgrounds. It should be a little bit better. Uh, those of you who listen via podcast, you're not going to notice a thing, maybe a little bit better audio, but that's about it. So again, glad to be with you guys today. Glad to be, uh, talking, glad to be alive and it's a beautiful day in Idaho today. You know, I don't know what parts of Idaho you're in, but where I'm at right now is a gorgeous, beautiful day. And uh, we're ready to rock and roll for the week. Like always, we're sponsored by Dell's Outdoor Advertising. These guys are fantastic at getting your message out there. And they will help you develop a message for your billboard. They specialize in traditional and digital billboard uh, means. So you give them a call, give Rob a call at 232-6886. And if you mention that you heard about us, heard about them on the podcast, you will get one month for free or your first, uh, your first uh, installation for free. So, and that's what you sign up for at least a three month deal. All right, guys and gals. uh, I just can't say enough. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's a Monday. Uh, You're going to be listening to this on a a upcoming Tuesday, but you know what? I'm just feeling excited this week, and I hope you guys all feel that same vibe, the same excitement as you're coming into your uh, week, as you're listening to this, which will be uh, on Tuesday, <laughs> uh, because it's a great time in our life to be alive. You may look at it and say, geez, what is this guy thinking? Look around. Open your eyes, Spence. We got inflation. We got all sorts of stuff going on in our country or outside in the world. But guys, control what you can control. Worry about what you can control. It does you no good to worry about things you cannot control. So be happy. Find that zen, just like on Happy Gilmore, which I just recently rewatched. Hit, found some hidden gems. Go to your happy place. <laughs> Find that happy place that's going to make you uh, a better business owner, a better leader, a better father, a better mother, a better, you know, significant other. Just find that within yourself. Uh, Make some changes in your life if you need to and be the person you need to be. That being said, uh, I'm I'm feeling, uh, what's the word? I don't know. I'm feeling grateful. Uh, just for life, uh, maybe because I went to uh, two different funerals uh, from a father, a friend, a friend's father who I grew up with and uh, a friend who, uh, who I really appreciated and loved, uh, we've lost both of them. So feeling gratitude that I'm alive, feeling uh, grat- gratitude because I got to know and, and be around these people, but also um, going to two different funerals in a day really makes you uh go through some retrospection of your life and you know you're hearing their families talk about them and remembering them the good times the funny times the sad times a little bit and you think man how am i going to be remembered i know we've talked about this in other episodes but that's that's kind of what we're going to talk about today and and i promise after this episode you're going to have a a long chain of uh, not having to listen to me solo, but, and I, today I thought it'd be a good one to talk about. And believe it or not, just because I was watching this show just recently with my little three-year-old on the couch, which was amazing uh, to be with her and just enjoy a, a Disney classic before Disney got all crazy, uh, just to be cuddling with my little three-year-old and just enjoying a, a morning on a weekend uh, with no other uh, meetings or anything in sight. 
I, I, I watched this classic uh, Disney show called Lambert, the Sheepish Lion. <laughs> and I know everyone now, you know, there's marketing out there, everything is, you know, be lion, not sheep, you know, we hear that all the time. But many of you maybe have not have watched this beautiful, beautiful movie. <laughs> so to sum it all up, the storks, uh, you know, they, they pick up a, a delivery of little, little uh, lambs, little sheep, you know, little sheep that they're going to deliver to their sheep mothers. But as they, as they pick them up and they deliver to their, uh, their mothers, uh, all their mothers are getting their uh, little baby sheep. And then one of the storks realized that, shoot, there was a lion picked up by accident that should have went to South Africa. But now uh, he's got this lion for all these sheep. And there was a mother that didn't get a sheep, uh, a lamb to, to, as a baby to race. So the mother kind of forced the stork to leave the lion for her to race. So the story goes on that the lion is raised as a sheep. He thinks as a sheep, he, 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 um, he, you know, obviously he doesn't have mirrors around there. So he, he's, he sees, you know, himself as a sheep. Uh, he, he identifies as a sheep. He plays as a sheep. Everything that he is, is a sheep. But the other sheep around him, as they grow up and as they you know, play together, they know that he is not like them. And he, they, they make fun of him. Uh, they don't let him join in you know, some of the games. You know, he's not good at headbutting like the other ones are. It's kind of like the story of Rudolph, you know? <laughs> you know, just because he was different. Uh, and he wanted to blend in so badly. Uh, others were made fun, you know, they made fun of him, even though, even though he didn't know this at this time, he was this beautiful, majestic, freaking lion who could have devoured all of them and, and just, just, you know, could have beat them in every, every game that we played. Um, so this went on until one day there was a wolf that showed up and all the other sheep cowered. And they were cowering in the, you know, the corner, trying to stay away from this wolf. And, oh, please don't eat me, you know, just like typical sheep. They're cowards. Uh, they're followers. Uh, they try to blend in. Don't want to get out of their comfort zones. They're helpless. Um, and this is what Lambert, the, the sheepish lion, was doing, because he, he, in his mind, is a sheep. Until he saw the wolf corner his sheep mother and was growling about ready to devour his mother. And then he found it within himself to get up and to find this lion roar and to, and to kind of kick this uh, wolf off a cliff because he's a huge lion that easily could have devoured this wolf. Huge, you know? And at that point, he realizes who he is. You know, he's not a sheep, he's a, he's a lion. He's a proud lion that can protect his sheep mother and you know, hopefully his sheep friends, his sheep, you know, celebrated him and loved him for that at the end. So obviously my little three-year-old loved it, you know, the, the uh, color by Technicolor uh, back in the day was not the uh, same an animation that she's used to with the Moanas and the, the Frozens and stuff like that, but she liked it. And we talked about it a little bit. And I started to think there are many of us that are lions, but want to blend in with the sheep. And maybe, it, maybe it's even a hierarchy of certain days we feel like a sheep. We just want to blend in. We don't want to, we don't want to challenge the status quo. We don't want to do that kind of stuff, even though we know we're a lion. And maybe the next day we're like, okay, we're more confident. I'm, I'm starting to feel that lion come back. You know, and a hierarchy is something you move up and down in rank. Uh, and this is just me bebopping, you know, just thinking to myself. And, uh, but I started to think, you know, do we want to blend in? Do we want to stay with the status quo? Um, and and as, I, as I went to these funerals over the weekend, I started to think even more like, how do we, and how do I want to be remembered? Do I want to be remembered as a sheep who is a coward? who stayed within the comfort zones, uh, that didn't take any chances, uh, and only felt comfortable, confident around other sheep? 
no, no, I didn't, you know? And I, I, did, I, I kind of started to think, you know, because I've been there before and I'm sure many of us have been there. You know, sometimes we just don't feel confident. Uh, and I, I know the mindset is a, is a tricky thing, no matter how much money you have or how, how prestigious your job is. I know we all have those different times in our lives that we feel like, crap, I am struggling today. I am, I am starting to feel that sheep uh, persona take over. And I, I, you don't want that. I don't want that. Um, but once we decide that we're going to be a, uh, that we aren't going to be a, a sheep and that we're going to be a strong, beautiful, majestic lion, we can take strength in our own accomplishments. We can go after and kill what we hunt, you know, sales, we can go out there. And, and, and if, you know, if we, if we hate the balance of our life of, man, I'm spending way too many hours in the office or after, after our office time, and I'm seeing my whole family grow up without me. You know, I'm, go, I'm missing little league games. I'm missing basketball games. I'm missing football games just because I'm trying to succeed in my profession. You know, I don't. Those are things that you have to decide. You know, what's more important? Um, but lions break through com comfort zones. Uh, they they're confident. They're confident in their own, on their own, and they love. Uh, they, they can they love themselves and others because they know who they are so um one other thing too about lions is uh they protect and care for their loved ones uh because that's what's the nature of a lion so remember how do we want to be remembered how do we want to be remembered in this life and in one of our funerals I attended this week, uh, my, my friend's father uh, always said a certain quote that, uh, that, that rang true in my mind. And he said, uh, ships in the harbor are safe, but that's not what ships are made for. So think about that as you go about yourself, you know, you throughout your lives and throughout this week. Am I the ship that's in the harbor? You know? you know, beautiful, majestic ship that's strong and robust, but I just stay in the harbor because I don't want to venture out and, and, and brave some of those scary storms and really test my limits and maybe get a ding on the, on the boat, on the ship. And, but, but really you know, get that, reap that benefit or reward. Or maybe you've been struck, struck down. Maybe your ship is capsized and maybe you've been through some tra tragic things, bankruptcy or some other things. But it doesn't mean your ship's sank for, for the rest of your life. You can rebuild. You can get on your, that ship again. You can find that lion persona. And you can venture back out outside of the harbor. Um, so, again, I started to think, how do I want to be remembered? Do I want to be remembered as just another sheep? Or do I want to be remembered as a risk taker? Do I want to be remembered as someone who's kind or generous? Do I want to be remembered as a liar or being or someone who's dishonest or someone who who didn't spend time uh, to to raise his children and to to love his wife? Or is it all just based upon his worldly you know, gains and his success? And I I don't want that. You know, I, there's got to be a balance. I think you can have you can have both in your life, but there's got to be balance. And there's times there's times that you're going to have to miss. Uh, an event here and there. I'm not saying, you know, as lead, business leaders and owners that we're going to be able to catch everything, you know, but for the most part, we can, we can find that balance where we can show our kids that we love them and, uh, and we appreciate them and raise them as lions and not as sheep. And, and so they, you want to set, set the example as a, a powerful lioness or a powerful lion that can go out there and eat what they kill but also find time to spend time with their lion cubs, you know? So uh, one of my heroes is named David O. McKay. Uh, he's, he's president of the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints back in the, uh, I think, 80s. He said, nothing can take place of home in, re in rearing and teaching children, and no other success can compensate for failure in the home. So just remember that. You know, obviously we want to be successful. We want to be this lion or lioness out there. But 
lion and lionesses take care of their cubs. They take care of their, what, what's important to them. Because if, 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 you, if you're lopsided and you're just giving it all to your, your profession and you, you aren't giving your family the, the attention that it needs, you know, chances are they're going to regret you. Maybe your wife you know, or, or husband, you know, maybe they leave you. And now, now you're really lopsided. So find that balance. Find that balance to share your life and uh, share your successes in, in an appropriate manner that uh, you can be strong, you can be kind, you can be generous, but you can find that time to balance yourself with your family and your, with your professional colleagues and, and with everything you're trying to accomplish professionally. So in summary, be the Lambert, you know? You know, it's okay. It's okay if you start off thinking that you're a sheep, but, but end up realizing your, your beauty and your, your strength as a lion. Uh, so that's, that's my message today, Beeps. Um, I think that's a good one to really, to really think of. And it's such a noble thing, you know, um, it's, I think some of us, you know, nowadays we think, oh, it's, it's, uh, it's not good to be this strong person, you know, in our society makes, makes you believe that, uh, no, you, you, you've got to blend in with the rest. You've got to stay with the status quo. You can't, you can't uh, do anything to, to rattle the, the waters, you know, or, uh, or the establishment, but go out and take what's yours. Be kind, be generous, find ways to be happy, find ways to help others and serve others, but to just be yourself. Be who you are, you know, don't be who other people think you should be. And if, if that's the type of people you're hanging around, shoot, get away from them. Find yourself some circles to think as you think and want to see you grow and develop yourself as a lion. Because there's plenty of circles out there that just want to keep you as a sheep. So just think of that as you're going forward with your friends, uh, with everything, everyone, your colleagues around you. Who you're, who you're surrounding yourself with, and how do you want to be remembered. In closing, New Clean Commercial Cleaning, my company, is a sponsor of the Idaho Business Podcast. If you call us today at 208-254-7070, uh, just say, hey, I want to know more about you. How, how, maybe how could you help us? Uh, just for calling and saying that maybe you heard about us on the podcast. You're going to get your two restrooms cleaned, uh, your tile and grout, in your restrooms clean absolutely for free no strings attached if you want more assistance from there we can we can tour the facility with you we'll give you some more ideas of how we can help you or maybe we can't help you maybe we're not a fit for you either way we'll let you know um but guys go out there and make it make this week fantastic for yourselves find ways to be happy and if you're not happy with what you're doing find a way to be happy and uh go out there and and, and just kill it be that lion or that lioness. So adios. You guys have a fantastic day, a fantastic week. You guys are all rock stars in my book. See you later. Congratulations on spending a couple of minutes getting a little bit smarter, having some fun, and supporting the Idaho business community. If you're feeling the love, make sure to subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you are.